Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, Two Clueless Travelers. Today we are heading for camping adventure to Algonquin Park, which is located three hours north of Toronto. Drive was beautiful. Initially it was a bit overcast, but later we got some sun. Algonquin Provincial Park is a cherished natural treasure in Ontario, attracting visitors from around the country, who seek to experience its beauty and engage in outdoor activities. On our way to our campsite, we came across Source Lake, so I've decided to take explore this lake. Source Lake is located near the western boundary of Algonquin Provincial Park, not far from the West Gate entrance. The lake is easily accessible by car as it is located along Highway 60, which runs through the southern portion of the park. Highway 60 is the primary access point for visitors entering Algonquin Park. Source Lake, like many other lakes in Algonquin, offers opportunities for various outdoor activities. These activities include canoeing, kayaking, fishing, and hiking. The surrounding area provides a scenic backdrop for nature, enthusiasts, and photographers. After a short photo session, we were on our way to our campsite. Our campground was located near Kearney Lake. It boasts a stunning landscape characterized by forests of maple, pine, and spruce trees. Finally, we have arrived at our campsite. Then we set up our tent with the help of owner's manual. Tent setup was fairly simple. We purchased our six-person Coleman tent from Canadian Tire. The campsite was really beautiful, and we had few friendly neighbors camping beside our campsite. Since there was province-wide fire ban, we had to use gas burners for cooking. We grilled some sausages and cooked spinach curry. Next, we decided to head to Pogs Lake for kayaking. There are few companies that offer kayak and canoe rental at a reasonable price. They will drop the equipments right at the location. We have spent roughly $110 for renting a kayak for two people. They've also provided necessary safety gears. Weather was perfect for kayaking and swimming. After spending few hours in the lake, then we headed back to our campsite. where we later prepared our dinner and later went to bed. Next morning we visited Algonquin Visitor Center, which is located the east gate of Algonquin Park. Visitor Center is a hub for information and educational resources. It features exhibits about the park's natural and cultural history, interactive displays, a bookstore, and interpretive programs. The center also serves as a starting point for various activities within the park.
These visitor centers are valuable resources for park visitors, providing information about camping, hiking, canoeing, wildlife, and more. They also offer educational programs and guided tours to enhance the visitor experience. Keep in mind that Algonquin Park is extensive, so these centers can help you plan your activities and provide updates on current conditions within the park. For the most accurate and up-to-date information, including any changes that may have occurred since. My last update, I recommend checking the official website of Algonquin Provincial Park or contacting the park authorities directly. Next we headed to Hardwood Lookout Trail. The trail is located along Highway 60, which runs through the southern part of Algonquin Park. The trail is a relatively short trail, typically around 1.9 kilometers in length. It is considered a moderate level trail, suitable for a wide range of hikers. Hikers can expect to traverse through a mix of forested areas, and the lookout provides panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. Later, we headed back to our campsite for lunch. After our lunch, we packed our tent and other items to wrap up our camping trip and head home. Thank you for watching our video. Please hit the like button to support our channel.